Oh, my Jesus, Lord, have mercy on our souls today. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, perfect. We got this going. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, first of all, I want to welcome you to Minds Up Radio. Um, I'm so excited to have you on the Enlightened One show. And of course, there's always a wonderful reason to have someone online with us who is enlightened and heightened and just kind of understands everything that's kind of going on in the world and our bodies and our minds and in our spirits. And, you know, I I'm just so grateful to have you. So the first thing that I do want to do is introduce myself to the audience. For those of you who don't know me, but you know me because you wouldn't be on this call if you didn't know me. <laughs> so I want to say thank you all for tuning in. My name is Takiya Diamond. I am an everything person. I am your life coach. I am your motivational and empowerment speaker. I am your best friend, your sister. Like, you know, I'm just everything, you know, and I'm also a mindset life coach and I help people transform their lives by changing their way of thinking. So today with us, I have on the show my great, great and wonderful friend, Mr. Christian Andres Barrio. Yeah, give it up, Christian. Yes, yes. So Christian's an integral coach, okay? And Christian does not only integral coaching, but he is a an expert at vegan health, wellness, fitness, and he shows you how to integrate all these different things um, and bring yourself to oneness through all these different directions that you can go that actually bring you to your higher self, your empowered self, and the most healthy self that you can actually be. So um, Christian's Integral Coaching is an intensive one-on-one -on -one coaching experience. It is designed to help you create a compelling life in finding balance between the mind, the spirit, and the body. Bringing together the spiritual and the mental side, Christian unifies, and he uh, unifies these practices that promotes healing within our inner selves, such as meditation, breathing techniques, Reiki, which is energy work, yoga, uh, partner yoga, uh, team building yoga, just every kind of yoga that you can think of, <laughs> therapeutic <laughs> yoga, you know, and then he uh, also does the physical and the nutritional side. Now, what Christian Barrio brings together is the importance of understanding the physical aspects such as your functional mechanical movements, cross training, cross fitness, physical alignment, asana, mm -hmm. movement, breathing, and conscious nutrition. Um, the lovely thing about Christian is that he is so passionate about reaching out and constantly inspiring those around him, which is why he's on this call because he has definitely inspired me. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. And I am just so grateful to uh, have have Christian with us. You know, he inspires those around around him, and he encourages everyone to reach their highest level of performance in order order to serve the best interests for yourself and others. So he understands that it's not just about you as an individual or me as an individual, but understanding that we bring ourselves together in order to help others learn to come together. So Christian, oh my God, it's such a pleasure to have you. And I'm so grateful to have you as a part of my evolution. And I'm, I'm, ecstatic about being a part of your evolution. Tell me, who is Christian Berrio? Besides my big introduction. <laughs> about that was an amazing you. introduction. Thank you, Takiya. Absolutely. So tell me, who is Christian Berrio? Who is Christian Berrio? Yes. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say, you know? Okay. Uh, Christian Burial is everything and is anything that you can imagine. I, uh, I'm a person that has gone through many, many challenges. And through those challenges, I've learned a lot on how to constantly 
be connected in with my mind, with my spirit, with my my emotions. And I've been learning every time. I continuously learn more and more. Um, I started my journey when I started realizing how important it is to be connected through nutrition. Nice. With, with nutrition, there's a lot of diseases. My mom went through breast cancer, and uh, through that, I, I started thinking that I needed to do something about it because if not, that, that would just continue in my genetics. So I needed to cut that from, from the root. And uh, that's how I started getting into energy work. I started getting into nutrition. I started getting into being more health conscious. And I started learning all about these different types of techniques, different types of methods that are out there regarding on, on what to eat, how to feed ourselves. I went through being paleo, which is a, a, a caveman diet where you eat a lot of meats, seeds, nuts, fruits, vegetables. Now I transitioned to becoming a vegan where you it's more of a conscious based eating where you're more compassionate with what you put into your body by loving yourself. You don't want to put anything that, that harms you, anything that keeps you slow. And I'm very into um, high vibrational foods. So it's, it's all about connecting. And that's what I'm all about. That's what Christian burial is all about connecting to other people, connecting to yourself, connecting to all these resources and all this energy that is out there so we can be connected to that higher source, that higher energy, whether you call it God, whether you call it universe, Allah. Um, it's, it's a higher source of energy that is out there. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So I think that um, sometimes people have a challenge with changing their their diets. And I think, um, I guess in my personal opinion, that uh, most people are pretty much accustomed to having meat in their diet. You chose to eliminate meat from your diet. What were some of the differences that you noticed um, like what really totally inspired you to eliminate the meat portion of your diet? It's, it was a journey. It started off with, with energy work, uh, with becoming a Reiki master. Okay. With Reiki master. I am a channel of energy to transfer this, this energy to other sentient mm -hmm. beings. And that way we could align their energy. So if there is a distortion in my energy field, which by eating meat, there's a supplement that comes from an animal and that supplement is transferred to my energy field and therefore my channel becomes intoxicated to a certain degree and I'm still transferring somewhat of supplement to that other person. Now through Buddhism, I started learning about the non-harming of any sentient being where, the, where you don't even harm a fly because every living sentient being deserves to be here on earth and deserves to live. And then through my physical endurance work that I started, I started learning that meat and animal products, what, they, what it does, it just holds me back from doing so many things because of digestion. It takes up to 80% of the, the energy of my body digesting meat products, animal products. Mm -hmm. So if I take that out of the equation, then how much of the energy I'm gonna have left? Tons. And that's what I started realizing, the, the amount of energy I started having. And then I started thinking, all meat is, is processed vegetables and fruits and grains because that's what animals eat to, mm, to survive for themselves. Well, I mean, that's how they farm them. They give them all these meat, these grains and mostly grains and GMO products, which are genetic, genetically modified organisms. Right. And that is going, and that is transferring to our body. Right. And that's one of the major reasons that, that uh, in the world there's so much sickness because of all this 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 nutrition that we're we're putting into our body where we're thinking it's nurturing ourselves, but in reality 
is just degrading ourselves. A piece of meat takes up to 10 days, roughly, to digest in your system. Mm. Imagine a piece of meat out for 10 days. You start having parasites. It starts degrading. It starts creating toxins in your body. Your, your digestive system is, slows down dramatically. Right. Your, your metabolism is it becomes super slow. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of factors that that made me realize the importance of, of nurturing myself with plants that digest quicker and vegetables that digest quicker and grains. Now grains I don't do that much. But it's part of my evolution. Uh -huh. Grains uh, creates uh, complex sugars and therefore it elevates the insulin. But for people that we that start transitioning, like when I started transitioning, okay, I go to with grains. I started eating a lot of grains, and and uh, that helped me a lot to start transitioning. What I started doing was just finding supplements, something that I would supplement what I used to eat. Not supplements and as in chemicals that you would go buy at the store to supplement your, your nutrition, but you would just get something like hamburgers. I used to love eating hamburgers. What I started finding was veggie hamburgers. And that helped me start looking at things differently. Also by learning the importance of, of reducing my carbon footprint. Mm. But that makes a big impact. It takes up to about 40 gallons of water to eat a piece of eight ounces of steak. So wow. that's a lot of water to have just a small piece of steak on your plate where it's not even 80% water. It's not even 10% water. And we are composed of 80% water. Mm -hmm. So therefore we need to eat a lot of foods that consist on a lot of water such as vegetables and fruits. Right. It starts making sense. Now, minerals, we're 20% minerals. Where do we get the most minerals? From plants and vegetables. Mm -hmm. From plants, from fruits and vegetables. So it just makes total sense to start eating uh, a, a plant-based nutrition where we are more compassionate to animals, compassionate to the world, and compassionate to our bodies. Right. We will live longer, definitely at least a hundred, over a hundred years, because there's no stress that that causes in your. I mean, there's a certain stress that your body goes through, but it's not as as much as it goes through when you eat meat products. Right. So that's something that I learned recently. Um, with trying to balance the whole vegan thing and uh, transform from from meat to just veggies. And I have to pat myself on the back because I think I did really good, you know. Uh, my mother is a meat lover, though. So, you know, she tends to cook all different types of meat. So, you know, sometimes she'll come in here and she'll be like, oh, I made you a steak. And I'd be like, ah, come on, ma. <laughs> <laughs> or chicken or something and I'm just like uh but something that I um I learned recently that pushed me away to stay away from the meat was understanding the whole vibrational transfer yes. that it has to where if that animal suffer in the process of it being killed or you know transferred into uh, a food product that um whatever that animal was experiencing at that time you too experience that unknowingly like and then i found myself um like if i had a piece of chicken there were there would be there was a time where all of a sudden i just was like really mad and i'm usually a very easy going person so i asked myself i was like what happened today that generated this vibration and frequency? Like, what was I emanating before I began to feel like this? And within two minutes, it popped in my head and it said, well, remember that little piece of chicken that you had? And I was like, oh, man. 
that means I'm probably feeling like this because whatever that animal was feeling at that time, it transferred to me. And I was just really mad that day. Like, I was so not myself. I was just like, you know, like, what? What do you want? Just really irritated, really irritable. And it was just like, oh, my God. I was like, okay, I have to stay away from this. So I put it to the side. And I noticed it didn't take any time. Like, I just was like, nope, I'm not eating chicken. People could put it, like, right in my face. And it was just like, thank you. And it could smell so good. (laughs) I was like, oh, that chicken sure smell good. (laughs) But then I was just like, I reminded myself that remember what happened last time remember how you felt last time remember and it, and then it was it was also like to, at one point where i if i ate the chicken mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be once i kept it out of my diet and tried to like go back to it i felt like i had the vomit like i felt sick i felt really like this just doesn't feel good my body doesn't feel good you know and i think that just re encourage me this is the reason why you were going vegan in the first place duh you know what I mean so it it snapped me right back so it's like even for anyone that's going through that transition you will have your challenges you know at first you know you will have your challenges and you do want to at least if you're going that route I don't even think most people probably really don't pray over their food you know be um one thing that I I also learned about um eating meat is if you're going to eat it that you want to be mindful of how that animal was treated before it was sold. Like, so if it was raised uh, on a farm in a non-genetically GMO, you know, situation, or if it was raised um, almost like, I mean, I guess like what the video was talking to me, what, what, what it was sharing with me is how, um, Sometimes, I guess, like, sometimes the animals know that they're, they're sacrificing themselves for food, depending on, you know, how it's raised. It knows, and it's okay with that. But, you know, in, in that case, and you, you're going to eat it, you still want to, you want to be thankful that that animal actually gave its life for your nutrition, you know? And so that, that was something that um, I... It, I held dear to my heart, you know, uh, and I share that with everyone because you can't make everybody stop eating meat, you know, I mean, we have our visions about it and we know what it does for us, you know, but in the same token, everybody may not be experiencing that for them. This is what they grew up on. This is how they survive, you know, and blah, 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 blah. But I, you know, I do, when I read that, it implemented me a lot, you know what I mean? It affected me a lot to where I began to understand this is why you stop, you know, there's no need for you to go back to it. And every time you try to go back to it, you're going to feel this same way, you know? You're going to feel this same way. So I just kind of lost interest in in having it, you know? It's just like, yeah, if it's going to make me feel crappy, never mind. <laughs> so, you know, I'm definitely doing away with, with that aspect of it. So. Um, what is a day like in the life of Christian Vario? I know that you work with a phenomenal, phenomenal coach, Karen Hoyos, yes. and, uh, she is transitioning lives all over the world. And I see you guys just everywhere, just really side by side, you know, making things happen. And my hat's off to you because you're very committed to making sure that things flow well to make sure that everything, you know, go, goes in the right direction. So, but for you, what is, the, when you first wake up in the morning, what's like one of, what's, what's, what's your, um, oh God, what's your ritual? So when you get up in the morning, you know, like, do you pray? Do you do gratitude statements? Like, what's the first thing that Christian does? And what is a day like in the life of Christian Barrier? So, yes, like you mentioned, I, uh, I do work with Karen Orgers, which is amazing for me to start working with her. And she put a lot of uh, sense into many things that I'm working with. And she's the one that helped me today in having integral coaching and being able to integrate all my knowledge. And my daily, my daily rituals are I wake up, I give thanks to the universe for having a new day. 
for giving me this opportunity to continuously transmit this beautiful message that we have to give to the world. And uh, after I start, I give my gratitude and, I, and I'm continuously giving thanks uh, throughout the whole day for everything. And I, uh, I start being aware of my emotions, aware of my, my feelings on what is going through my head because uh, something that Karen has taught me a lot is about being able to differentiate the ego and the essence. Yes. The ego can sabotage us a lot. The ego is the one that keeps us in bed and not wanting to wake up and do anything or mm -hmm. do these types of rituals that help us progress and reach our goals in life. So I start, I start going through that meditation process, and I do that for about 45 minutes. And uh, after that, I, I love doing my handstands. Oh, yeah. my God, handstands. <laughs> handstands for me. That's uh, awesome. Tell us about that. <laughs> essential, essential in life. They work so much. They work your whole body. You have to be very aware of your whole body. So mm. it puts you in the present moment, which is what I love. Because you're concentrated in that present moment. Mm. And it's also like a meditative state for me. So it, it helps you be aware of every single muscle of your body because you, you have to activate every single muscle of your body to be able to do a handstand and to do a proper handstand. And uh, at the same time, you're, you're being inverted. So by being inverted, you have all that blood come back down. So it gives you a natural facelift, which is great. For, for everybody, because we could all use facelifts, right? Mm -hmm. Look all beautiful and sensual. <laughs> so <laughs> it helps us uh, with the blood flow. It, it, rests, it rests the heart, because the heart isn't pumping as much. Okay. From, from the gravity, so you're, you're inverted. So it's, it has all these types of benefits, which I love. <laughs> and you just start becoming defined your body starts defining itself because again you're tensing a lot of your body parts and you're being aware of all this proper posture and to me proper posture is big it's humongous mm. just alone by correcting your posture you're going to get an amazing workout without knowing just wow. by pushing your shoulders back having your chest out, you know, when you walk, squeezing your glutes, right? Walking properly, sitting down properly. All these proper postures and functional movements on our daily lives, by just learning those aspects, we automatically get a good workout throughout the whole day, where in reality, we don't need to go to the gym for two hours, like a lot of people do, or one hour. Right. And, and do all this and what you what people do is stress their bodies so i like to do that i like to do my handstands because it puts me aware of my posture puts me aware of my body of what to do and then i do a little sequence of yoga just a small little sequence maybe 10 15 minutes of of yoga because stretching is so important stretching oxygenates the muscles it, it hydrates the muscles by obviously drinking lots of water, you're able to get more hydration all over your body by stretching. And uh, if you, something that I learned a lot by looking at animals, and uh, I was I was looking at felines. And oh wow! And felines are a very peculiar animal because they're always sleeping, but at the same time they're the most agile animal out there. Mm -hmm. And they're always sleeping, but the first thing they do when they wake up is they stretch. Yeah, that's true. Lions do yeah. stretch. stretch. Right, 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 right. They really stretch. And then they go about on their day. Mm. So stretching is so important for everybody. So that's why I integrated a lot of yoga postures into my whole training, because it's so important.
Now, when you do your handstands, I mean, for somebody who doesn't know how to <laughs> stand on their hands, I mean, what do you recommend? Like maybe putting your body up like against the door or? I uh, recommend to start from the basics. Start working on planks. You start doing planks. Okay. You start being aware of your core. Being aware of your core is very important. Planks help you be aware of your core. So planks, what that position is what kind of like you like, uh, like a handstand position without I mean not a handstand a uh, push up position right that's what I was gonna say that's what I that's what I no no doing the push up so you always want to make sure your wrists are aligned with your shoulders that way you won't harm your shoulders you won't harm your wrists your hand. So you want to have that posture. You want to squeeze your glutes. You want to push your heels back. That way you're not lifting up your, your glutes and you're not sagging your hips either. You're nice and straight and aligned. Okay, so your legs your legs are straight and aligned. And basically you're, you're, you're contracting your glutes, I guess. Yes. And then you're just kind of like keeping your body sh like straight and aligned, uh, as you're in a push-up position. Yes. And you stay this way for about how long? I'm gonna start off with maybe 10 seconds. Okay. And then if you're within a week, you can do 20 seconds, and then the next week, 30 seconds, and work your way up. When you're able to reach about a minute or so, then that's, that's an awesome start because you know, you're not going to go for a while. And then you can breathe in. The okay. So important. Always breathe through your nose. Your nose is for breathing. Your mouth is for eating. Your nose has filters. Right. Your mouth doesn't have filters. You can get sick easily by breathing through the mouth because we're 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 inhaling all these toxins that are in the air. But your nose has all these filters that when you breathe, you inhale, they trap all these toxins and that way you don't get sick easily. So the breathing is very important. The breathing brings us to awareness. So when we're holding that position, mm -hmm. we start breathing fast through our mouth, then it just breaks us easily. We go into our head. Okay. So you're aware of what's going on with our body. So when you do through your nose, you're aware of contracting, you're aware on hold and you're aware of what's going on. You but mean that's when, when you breathe through your nose, you're aware rather than breathing through your mouth. Mm -hmm. So breathing through your mouth kind of makes you give in because you yes. your mind more so if you're you get your agitated mouth. and you, you don't receive enough oxygen to your brain. You don't receive enough oxygen in your lungs. Mm -hmm. you your mouth. You breathe superficially. When you breathe through your nose, deep inhalations, first the stomach and the chest, and exhale through the nose, it gives you that control, that you can control. That's awesome. And this uh, I I, one, one second, Christian. I just want to ask everybody else to please mute yourself, because I'm hearing like a lot of background noise. So if you're on, just please press mute so that I don't hear what's going on in the background of you, because I see we got some people in. I just want to make sure that they the mute button is on. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yes. And uh, I started learning this a lot when uh, you see a lot of athletes, they breathe a lot through their mouth. And especially when I used to do a lot of CrossFit, big time CrossFit. Okay. And breathing through the mouth was big. And then I would go do yoga and in yoga we would breathe through our nose. Through the nose we show more control. Through the mouth we see more agitation. So that's what I'm starting saying, doing. Let me do less intensive work, but let me concentrate more on my breathing to see how that would work out. What I realized is that I, would, I was able to be more in control of my workout and I, wouldn't, I would finish off stronger at the end when I started re- learning how to breathe because I used to breathe a lot through the mouth too okay. <laughs> and all I do is 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 just run out of breath mm. and I would get cramps in my stomach when I would breathe through the mouth and I would feel tired 
when I started breathing through my nose, I felt more empowered. I felt mm -hmm. more energy. So wow. That, that helped me realize the importance of breathing through the nose versus okay. breathing through the mouth. Now, there are breathing techniques. Well, we, well, you know, we're going to go through some of, some of that or whatever when you do, you know, your example or whatever I have you. Perfect, perfect. So, I want to bring up the fact that you, <laughs> I mean, this is, this is an amazing accomplishment to me. Like, when I, when I think about this for you, well, you know what? I think you're sexy anyway. It doesn't really matter. But, mm -hmm. it, you know, it helps that a magazine <laughs> actually decided to honor your sexfulness. <laughs> yes, yes. I think that's totally, totally awesome. So um, with, with that being said, that you were actually featured as the uh, Hillsboro sexiest vegan oh my mm -hmm. god <laughs> and it looks like there's an organization called PETA P-E-T-A so tell us what does PETA actually stand for and um, after that I'll have you tell us what that was like you know to actually be uh, selected you know chosen because I'm pretty sure there were several other people who you know who were um, I guess nominees <laughs> would be the word. And, you know, of everyone who was actually selected, people voted for you. And I think that's, that's completely awesome. So uh, first share with us, what does the PETA, PETA, P-E-T-A, what does it stand for? PETA stands for People for Ethical Treatment of Animals. Nice. So mm. what, what, it's an organization that is known um, worldwide. They're all over the place. And they're very recognized in uh, doing a lot, of, a lot of awareness on the treatment of the abuse of animals. Now, animals are, they have a slogan. The animals are not ours to eat, wear, experiment on, use for entertainment, or abuse in any other way. Okay. So there's a lot of... Uh, animal rights groups out there that they 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 use PETA to get out the to get this message out there. Right. That animals are our friends. I mean you're not gonna go and eat your dog. You're not right. gonna eat your cat. What makes them different than a pig or a cow? So it's a very nice organization and and I had a big group of, of vegans, friends, and people that I know through through groups that I, I'm a part of, and uh, they they constantly were, were telling me why then why don't I join this contest of the sexiest vegan next door? Like join this contest of the sexiest vegan next door? No, why would I? Do <laughs> I mean, that was amazing to me. I'm like. I'm Christian is sexy, it's vegan. This is so true. He is so fine. And I'm I'm pretty sure there are several women out there that can agree with me. And, you know, um, Champagne talks about you all the time, how you're always photographed ready. Like, no matter where you're standing, <laughs> what are you doing? You could be standing in a box and you'll be perfectly standing for a photo shoot. Like, <laughs> somebody could capture that moment of you and you're just flawless, you know? And yeah. that, you know, that that's um, that's amazing, you know, to even have that that stance to it people notice that about you you know it's 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 really really you know incredible that you stand out like that now they say that um you know you know as we were talking earlier about the whole vegan thing you know it's a challenge for some people to just completely cut meat out of their diets but i think that um something that's very important and i would like for you to touch on is how they say that vegans are very healthy and they have healthier hearts and on an average, um, vegans, it's almost like, um, I guess I could allow you to explain to me, what do you think is the reason why vegans have 
healthy hearts, you know, because a lot of lives are saved by going the vegan way, you know? Yes. Big time. Now, first of all, cholesterol. Well, you don't have that, you don't have mm. that cholesterol that meat produces in your body. So that cholesterol clogs up a lot of blood veins and it, they start accumulating around your blood veins, all that cholesterol where eventually with time, your heart gives in. Now there's so much, so much, so much uh, heart attacks out there. And, it, and with time, that's what happens. Right. In all these diseases. Not only that, but also the, the vitality that you have is just off the roof. You, you, you have so much vitality in life. Your sexual life is going to change. That I could assure you. Because it's all about that blood running through your body. Now, what kind of quality of blood do you want to have? You want to have an optimal quality or just something that gets you by? And I, like, I use a lot of uh, uh, metaphor of a car, right? You have your car. What, what kind of car do you want to drive? Mm. Um, a kind of whatever rundown car where you put any kind of gasoline and you barely do any maintenance to it, or you want to drive a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, where right. obviously you're going to put the best type of gasoline in there. You're going to put the best type of oil in there. Right. You're going to maintain it the best possible way. Right. And it's going to last you for years. That's true. Cars out there that they last for over a hundred years. Yeah. And then the body is run down by 80, by 60, by 50, even by 30, the body is already run down. Right. That's and so true. It just doesn't make sense to me why the ultimate machine out there, which is us, this body is the ultimate machine, is getting sick and dying so at an early age. And then we got other machines that we take care of more than ourselves. Right. And that we don't even make the time to be aware of what's going on. Okay, I got a stomach ache. Why did I get the stomach ache? Right. It didn't happen randomly. Why do I have a headache? Mm. I'm just not going to take a pill and ignore my headache and not pay attention to my body talking to me. Right. Like my body is doing screaming out loud. And telling you, what are you doing? I'm trying to communicate to you. Mm. I'm let, let you know that there's something going on. Right. But then what we do is we just sprinkle a little bit of fairy dust on ourselves and ignore it. It's like what Karen says a lot. It's like, we need to clean our poo poo. We can't expect that just by putting a little bit of lotion on top of the poo poo and the poo poo is going to live. It's going to smell better, right? <laughs> And this falls into, and this is how I connect so much with her and her training and her coaching has been amazing to me and how I was able to recognize her as an amazing transformational coach because it, it, it's all interconnected. Right. You, you have to clean your emotions. You have to clean your spirit. You have to clean your physical body. You have to clean your mind process, your thought process. And it's, it's, it's all, you have to put that work in. You mm -hmm. put that work in. You can't expect that things are just going to gonna happen by the snap of your fingers. It's not. It's, you got to put that work in because mm -hmm. that's what makes us grow and appreciate the process that we go through. And therefore, we're able to reach out to more people. And that's why it is so important to live our purpose. Mm. That's what Karen Hodges has taught me, and is to live that purpose congruently and in with integrity. When I'm in with when I'm when I have integrity in my words and when I'm congruent, I start manifesting things. Right. Beautiful. I mean, 
it's just amazing the things that I've been able to manifest through the whole process that I've gone through since I started with Karen. Because I had all my ideas all over the place. Right. I didn't know how to put them together. When with her, I was able to put everything together and it makes so much sense now in that I'm able to transmit this message with you guys. It was, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have met you. If it right, wasn't, that's true. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have all my, I, my, my, my ideas and everything put together. And right. The way I'm able to transmit this in a much easier way, communi- communicate this in a much proper way where it makes more sense to everybody. Because I'm connected to my essence. Right. I'm that I, I wasn't being congruent with. I, I, was, I knew all about physical movements and about food and I knew about spirituality, but, but I wasn't living it completely until now. And now it just makes everything so much sense when you drop everything you're doing and you just, just give that key to God and say, okay, God, I'm in your hands. Okay, universe, I'm in your hands. Yes. Look for a reason. What's that reason? What do you got me here for? Let me do your work. Right, right. And like you have on your on your on your page, I saw like let me be the ultimate service to you. Yes, that's what we are. We're here to be a service to everybody, and and I'm here to be at your service. And everybody right. that is listening to this, mm-hmm. to this conversation, mm-hmm. to this. That's cool. That's so true. So true. So. What I'm going to do is um, I definitely want to have you walk through, walk us through some processes, some healing and, you know, um, I guess helping the audience understand the flow, you know, how to talk to the cells when you're having or experiencing those body aches or headaches or whatever the case may be how to clean up those emotions, mind, body, and spirit, you know? Um, so I'm not, I know you have so many different ways that you can go about targeting this. So, um, I mean, I guess I would want you to use your best discretion as to what would be the greatest thing that you can deliver, you know, to us or share with us in regards to talking to the cells or, and even also the posture thing where we talked about how it's important, you know, to, you know, have your shoulders back or whatever case may be, because I'm not going to take your lesson and mess up your words. I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you explain it. So, yeah. So let's get into, you know, some processes or what have you, and where you can just kind of give us an example, give us a sample of, you know, what is it like if you were my coach and you just knowing me and knowing the different things that I'm transitioning to and just you know, what would be our next step? Okay. So the next step is to recognize that there's something going on with yourself, with your body, that you're not completely connected. Okay. Because if we were completely connected, then then we wouldn't be here. And to understand that there's an evolution and there's a process for that evolution. And then we want to evolve our bodies, therefore evolving our minds and evolving our spirits. So I like to concentrate a lot on that aspect. On communicating with yourselves and being aware, awareness, 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 to me is, is humongous. When we're aware of our thoughts, when we're aware of our bodies, when we're aware of our, of what we put into our bodies. Yes. So, I, we can do a little like meditation pause okay. right now. All right. Where I want everybody to sit up on the chair. No. All right, guys, come on, join, join, join in with us on this because you guys will be able to leave feedback <laughs> and tell us how this worked for you. Okay. We want to concentrate on that. We're going to be harnessing energy. Okay. And it's not going to be our own energy. It's okay. Going to be a universal energy. Okay. So think about uh, a ray coming down from the universe to us and energizing us. Okay. So we want to close our eyes, 
I want you to concentrate on your posture. So your feet are going to be flat on the floor. Let me, before I let you go forward, please, anybody that's on, um, please mute yourself so I can hear Christian clearly. Um, mute your cell phones and mute your computers or whatever. Just please hit mute so that we can hear Christian only and no background noise. Thank you very much. Okay, go ahead, Christian. So have your feet on the floor. Your ankles are aligned with your knees to have that straight posture. You're slightly engaging your core. You're slightly pushing your, your glutes back. And you're bringing your chest out and squeezing your shoulder blades back. So let's see, let's go ahead and lift up our arms up to the sky, up to the ceiling and get that good stretch. Imagine yourself pushing away. Get that good stretch in. Now bring your arms to the sides and push away with that good stretch. Now bring your arms forward, having your chest out, squeezing your shoulder blades back, and push forward. Good. Now you're going to position your hands on your legs and take a deep breath through your nose. And exhale. Now we're going to take a deep breath on a count of three. So we breathe in for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Now we're going to hold it for three seconds. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold it for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. One more time. Inhale for three, two, one. Hold it for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Continue with this breathing while we engage our core. Imagine you're squeezing your core as tight as possible. If you have Mike Tyson punching you in the stomach, how hard are you going to hold it? Don't let him take your air out. Continue breathing. Continue breathing for three, two, one. Holding it for three, two, one. Concentrate on that breathing. But don't let go of your core. Keep holding that core. And hold it and release and engage and release. Engage your core tight, 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 tight and release the core. Now think about your glutes. Now you're going to squeeze your glutes and let go. Squeeze those glutes. And let go. Imagine you're doing a squat with a thousand pounds on you. And you're squatting, you really got to squeeze your glutes coming up. And let go. And squeeze your core and your glutes. And let go. And we're becoming aware of your body parts. Keep continue squeezing and letting go. But you want to really squeeze hard. And let go. You be aware of your core, of your posture, of your breathing your glutes and just right there we're integrating all these different types of movements we're aware that we have this energy field that is coming down from the universe giving us the energy that we need and at the same time we're transferring this to the world and you continue breathing through your nose and you're working your imagination you're working your breathing you're working on recognizing your body parts and think about your cells and how your cells work and how they would work properly if we give them the best that we can give them. By elevating our frequency and our vibration. Think about your cells continuously regenerating your body. Your cells are continuously regenerating your body. Constantly. And the better nutrition we give it, the more it's going to regenerate. But if the body is sick, the cells have to concentrate 
and getting that sickness out. Therefore, it won't be able to regenerate your body as much as you would like it to. So the less sickness we have, the more we regenerate our bodies, therefore, the better evolution we're going to have. So concentrate on that. Now we're going to start coming back. We're going to open our eyes. And give that gratitude to all, everybody that has been around us. Gratitude to you, Takiya, for providing this session. I give you thanks. And I give thanks to everybody that has been part of this and has tuned in to listen to uh, this beautiful show that Takiya has. And I, I really appreciate giving me the opportunity to be here. Namaste. Namaste. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. I feel so rejuvenated already. I feel like I just want to go like, ah. <laughs> and that's always just yourself saying like, you know, thank you for giving me a break. Yes. You know, I don't know. So that was really, really awesome. Thank you so much for that, Chris. Sure. So what I would like you to do is share with our listeners and our viewers on how they can reach you. Um, where they can actually, if they wanted to do like a one-on-one -on -one session with you or um, what we do as a, the whole life coaching thing is we do uh, what we call, um, oh my God, really, 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 like really, I really can't remember this word, really, really, really. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> and I know all the coaches on the line right now are just answering me like, Call clarity call. It's like a clarity call, mm -hmm. like a, and um, but it's another word that we utilize. Discovery call. There we go. Discovery, discovery, discovery. Mm -hmm. So a discovery call where if someone wanted to just connect with you for about a good 10, 15 minutes to discover, like you know, what you may pick up about them, or what and how you can help, um, share with us where they can actually find you um you know set up that that free 10 15 minute discovery session to see how you can help them and um how to go about i guess i guess it would be discussed on the discovery call so i guess you know like any websites or anything like that that you may have that you can share with them you can find me at uh, i have a fan page christian andres burial where it's uh, it's it's on on uh, Takiya's page, my full name without an H. Uh, you could also call me at 908-590-2906 or send me an email at Christian, C-R-I-S-T-I-A-N, at KarenHoyos.com. Karen, K-A-R-E-N, Hoyos, H-O-Y-O-S. Now, tomorrow we're going to have a seminar that's going to be uh, by Karen and how to live your purpose and I'm going to be there as the her executive director and her personal integral coach and uh, And we could speak more if you wish it's going to be in Manhattan Now you you can contact me to give you more details uh, the, the location is called the one spirit learning Alliance now Takiya also has that information. Yes she to assist. She's an amazing coach I'll be there. You can ask me any questions that you want. And uh, give me, get in touch with me. I'm able to give you a, a roughly 30, 45 minute assessment on, on, on how, how I could help you and how, it, how the process can help you as well. Now, not a, we'll go through like an interview process because not everybody would qualify for, for the coaching that I, I provide. But if you do qualify, we could get more in detail on, on what we can do. I have a three-month program where we meet once a month uh, through online. And uh, it's, a, it's an hour session. And there are home plays, it's, which is what we call versus homework. We call them home plays. And uh, we have certain commitments that each person uh, does for the week. We read certain books, we watch certain movies, we do physical movements, we start working on transitioning to a healthier vibrational lifestyle, 
more compassionate lifestyle. So it's an awesome program. And I encourage you to contact me and I can give you definitely more information on, on anything that you need. Yay! <laughs> so I'm definitely going to suggest that if you guys are not busy tomorrow and you are in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New York area to stop by Karen's events are, are awesome. Christian is always there, supportive. Um, part of my journey is because Karen has helped me even break free of some barriers of my own. And I'm still growing, and she's still my coach forever, you know? So, um, and she has really wonderful programs that you would attend in state, out of state, you know? very things that will rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. And Christian is a part of the Karen Hoyers team. And uh, I support them 110%. And they support me 110%. And we want to support you and help you get your life and your health, wellness, mind, body, and spirit in alignment so you too can begin living the best life ever all across the board. So um, again, reach out to Christian. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. We're going to bring Christian back. We had some issues with Blab and just you know trying to figure all this stuff out. And I want to share with you guys that the whole blog talk thing, I thought that you could do more than one show in a day, but you can't. And that's the reason why we end up doing Zoom. But that's okay. We're going we gonna to get all of this together. <laughs> and we're going to do this again. But it's 11-11. So you guys need to know that it's 11-11. Today is the day to start writing out your, your dreams, your beliefs, your, your focuses, where you're going. Today is the date you delete the past. It is gone. Leave it alone. It no longer exists. Only when you bring it back. It exists mentally. So today is the day you delete all of that and start mapping out where you're going. Focus forward. Look ahead. Keep your minds up. It's your girl, Takiya Diamond. And you guys come back within the next 20 minutes. We're going to have another host for you guys. And uh, I mean, another, another guest for you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Minds up. From my heart to yours. Uh -huh. Deuces. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>